Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for keeping up with Gia Gun Entertainment every Monday. This month of May has been so busy and filled with so many great events such as DragCon and the filming of season 8 of the RuPaul's Drag Race finale. And of course, Miss Gia has been up to some shopping. Let's get into my May favorites. First up on the list is this product right here. Dacha that was introduced to me this drag con. These are two of my favorite products by Dacha. One being the pure cleansing oil and the other being the luminous dewy skin moist. And I happen to love it so much and admire the beautiful packaging that I actually keep it in its original box. It's very easy, one step as it says. You simply put it on your skin dry, add a little bit of water and just massage that in and you see your makeup just diminish before your eyes. And also we have the dewy skin moist which just keeps a gal refreshed. It's nice and compact and fits right into your purse and it's one two fish. Next on the list is my favorite body bronzer by Bloodline which is a very easy cleanup, non-sticky and just sickening body bronzer. I use it for my shows, I also see a lot of go-go boys use it or even just daytime fish. Now summertime is right around the corner. You know we all like to smell like fish, even from a mile away before you turn that corner. Baby, and this Gucci Premier has just simply done it for me. One, two sprays of this bad boy right here, and baby, I can't even keep the trade off me. Oh, This is a medical cannabis amber moon bath soak. Now baby, they say one, two scoops of these and 30 minutes and you feel lovely. Now, as most of you know, hanging out with Laganja, you know, our tolerances tend to be a little bit high or a little bit more accustomed to the gig. So you might want to throw in the whole tub if you're a 420 gal. Speaking of staying medicated brings me to my next favorite product, which is Miss Mary Jane Co. Now, Miss Mary Jane Co. offers a wide assortment of things for all of you out there. But here are a couple of my favorite things, such as this Blunt Bay crop top, lovely. One of my also very comfortable favorites are the Rainbow Swirl Unicorn Leggings. Yes, God. And one of my all-time favorites that I just can't get enough of for daytime, sleep time, or gym time are these. Get into it, y'all. It's sickening. Now, all my Gia pets know that the month of May is very special to me as I celebrate my birthday on the 10th of May. So thank you guys so much for all of you that showed me so much love. Mwah. I really appreciate it. But one of my presents that I got in the mail was from the Millionaires or the Bad Girls Club. And they sent me this sickening, cute little bow right here, available on their website. And this one is the Blue Balls Bow. But they have so many different colors and a wide assortment. Check them out, they're so cute. Now, you know, I'm not a huge cosmetic queen, but this month I have been using the new line from Brooke Candy uh, from MAC, which has actually been giving me some really good results. She has the Shimmerless Bronzer, which is lovely. It doesn't really give me that super wet look, but it does give me that bronze look and that nice glow that we do look for in a bronzer. So I have been having some really good luck with her. And um, I do love the World Nude Lipstick. It's not too dark, it's not too light, and it goes on really smooth, doesn't get stuck to your hair and all that stuff. It's not super matte, but um, it's a nice consistency. I can't leave the house without these. Now, as most of you guys know, all of us queens spend a lot of time in the airports and with layovers and just the this and the that, you know, we spend a lot of time shopping at the airport. And one of my favorite shops is the Duty Free Zone. And for this month, I chose to get a nice cute little guest watch. Yes, God. She's very comfortable, sensible. My first question was, is the white band going to go ahead and get stained? And they assured me, no. And I said, okay. Now it's not too casual, it's not too fancy. It's just good for every day. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to go ahead and clock the T and put it right on. Sensible, casual, cover girl, lovely. Now, to block out all the shade and all the tea, because it's no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, I went ahead and got 
a stunning pair of Versace, as some of you would like to call it, or Versace glasses to go ahead and block all the haters. And I thought, you know what? Why go sensible? Why go daytime? Why not go fabulous? And I went ahead and got me this lovely pair. I think these go with my outfit. What do you guys think? Now, I did something this month that I've never done before. And for myself, I bought my very first, very first pair of Christian Louboutins. Now, Louboutins is not something that I thought that I would ever have been able to obtain. But baby, I have been working off this puss. And I have been slaying these shows. And I have been entertaining all of you for so long that I feel that it was time for Ms. Gio Dunn to step out in her red bottom. Do y'all want to see what they look like? I know you do. Do, 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 do. You know, everybody always has the traditional pump and, you know, the nude pump or the open toe. I said, I'm going to get me a good old booty because A, if I'm going to go ahead and be uncomfortable con, yeah, we all know Louboutins are not comfortable. I'm going to go ahead and be in a booty and be the most comfortable possible. And B, I'm also going to go ahead and get something that I can wear with jeans and also wear with a costume. Now, what I like about these shoes are the nude mesh lining inside that provides the utmost comfort while standing for hours on end. Yes, yeah, standing and looking beautiful. Um, I also love the fact that they just have this really simple zipper back here. They also provide support. Again, booty, comfortable, not a big deal, just sensible. By far, these are the most fabulous, expensive, and luxurious shoes I have bought in my whole career. So get ready for them because they're coming to a gay club near you. Last but not least, to close out my favorites for the month of May, is this stunning dress by, oh, just a little Balmain it is. Yes, God, it's a lovely rope dress, hand-tied. I mean, I don't even know if it's hand-tied, but I assume it is, because it's Balmain. It's very comfortable. It provides me a lot of support right here in the upper area. All right, everybody, this wraps up my May favorites. And don't you think that it's going to be this expensive and luxurious every time around? Because, baby, it was the queen's birthday this month, and she splurged a little and also got a few gifts. So go ahead and be sure to check out a detailed list of all the things that I mentioned today in the box below. Subscribe to Geogun Entertainment and stay absolutely sickening. Bye. Okay. Crazy.